Hello and welcome back to the last spell. Um, what is this town? I, I can never remember the town once I'm here. I've been in Lakeburg for so long. I, I can't even remember where I am. Um, and I don't know if there's any way of finding out. <laughs> it should just be like a big old title somewhere. It says you are in this place. But anyway, we are uh, somewhere. City stash, maybe. No. Oh, no. No. I, I can't I can't tell you where we are. It's fine. I don't care. Uh, we're we're in night four is what we're at and uh, things are tentative But I'm feeling okay. We've survived so far. So there is that um, But yeah, let's just keep keep the ball rolling close the doors. Oh We got frog people frog people frog people Look like frog, taste like pe- that's not how that goes. Um... So, wow, we've got a long way to travel for our sword person to be able to do anything. That's the first uh-oh. Um... The second uh-oh is... Well, so does- so does our bow. But that's fine. Actually, I'm glad that missed, because I should be killing that guy first, so I don't have to break through that resistance. That's like a really stupid, easy, simple, classic mistake to make, and, and I almost made it. Um, okay, I want to kill this lad. There we go. And uh, we don't really have to waste mana just yet. Uh, okay, well... You can question my my methods, but you cannot question my results. Your results are bad too. Oh god. Turns out you can question them. Alright, let's just move forward. Don't let them surround you. So these ballistas are almost worthless, huh? These guys are all split up, so our druid's not gonna be very helpful there. Uh, we have a really good setup here. Yeah, I, I, you know, I did that badly. I recognize that. And I'm going to use another health, uh, action potion just to ensure that we kill that fast dude. Because they tend to be pretty tough. Okay, there's a bunch of lads over there that need killing. We've got a pretty good angle, I will say. Can we kill that lad? Please. There we go. And then let's go ahead and dedicate some more mana to this. Kill that guy. Make sure we kill the big lads. Okay, uh, now I don't like what's going on over here because everyone's split up. We only have like one thing that we can kind of debatably waste our mana on. Did this guy, did he, did I miss Is that what happened over there? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and entangle. Oh, I can't do it. God, I hate the shrine. It's, it's like, seriously not okay. We have a, a, a elite, a, a spooky elite over there. I, it's honestly kind of impressive that this town is even bothering trying to break the last spell. Or, uh, or cast the last spell, because it's like... This whole area over here is like kind of a nightmare. It's not a good location for for trying stuff like this. Oh god, that is not a lot of poison damage. So we're gonna go ahead and um, just go ahead and cast one of those, and I'm gonna focus a little bit of my attention over here. To 
just to make you know just to check some boxes uh okay uh i'm not i'm not liking what what i'm seeing over there okay let's kill this guy there's so many things in our way in this location didn't mean to actually i, I meant to hit this guy instead but that's fine just gotta kill everyone around the frog which it sucks because now the frog just gets like to do what they want for a whole turn Now this over here, uh, I I hate this. We'll, we'll see. Hey, that's not bad. I didn't think he was gonna kill that guy. We just gotta back him up so that he doesn't take like all of the damage in the world. I guess he he gets most of his movement like when he's in relentless mode and he only gets relentless mode if he doesn't have a lot of movement left put a put his back up against the wall to ensure that he uh only takes damage from one angle that's that's kind of my tactics strategy there okay we're poisoned Uh, yeah, don't don't care for any of this. Let's just kill this lad And then I see a good kill here No, that's actually bad I'm gonna have to use another one just to make sure that we kill That dude and we're out of we're out of stuff So i'm gonna try and block this off here Not not good um, here's what we're gonna do here. I want to come over here Kill these two guys I figured that was not gonna be enough, but the important thing is that we have a better angle here to uh, Do some in impressive shots here We don't have line of sight on that guy. All right, let's kill we don't have line of sight on that guy either God, this is... I, I hate this location. Alright, can we kill him now? No, we can't. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Alright. That's fine. It's not fine. Author's notes, it's not fine. We've got a good um, poison situation there. I am really concerned about this elite dude. I think that... He is going to get to do a lot of bad stuff for, against us. Do, is this, uh, this has got opportunism, so we should be able to do some nice damage here. Nope. No, actually. Wow, we did, we just barely broke through his armor. That's what we did. But here's the, here's the good news. Is I can cast um, Contagion on the stun guys. And hopefully, like, the guy has 50% stun, so never mind. But, uh, he might get stunned. I don't, I don't think so. I don't, whoa, there's a dude, like, right inside. Wait, where, where did you come from? Ah, he's hitting my mine. Okay. Okay. Uh, I really need to kill that frog and I didn't. And now I can't do anything about it. I can, I can entangle him. That's the best I can do. And it's going to cost us an entire tier of panic. I probably could have done something about it, but I, I, I just messed it up. God damn it. 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do over here. We're gonna go all the way over here. That's gonna put us in relentless mode. And then we're going to work our way backwards. Not bad. Could be worse. This over here is actually pretty good. You know what? No, I was I was thinking you probably knew what I was thinking. Um, I was thinking we could probably move him all the way over there and kill that frog. Wouldn't that be nice? Honestly, it's still possibly doable. No, there's no way. Just like hit him with anything. Acid spray him. No, the the real problem is this this dude here. And actually, I'm gonna keep him entangled. Because if I don't, then like the best thing I hope I've got right now is that um, like the other sides are done, so I can keep him kind of busy. We should be able to hit him now. In fact, we can hit him with power shots. Oh, we actually can't hit him with power shots? Oh, man. Oh, it's fine. We can hit him with, like, actual good shots. Uh, we need to kill this frog. This freaking frog cost me my S rank. E exclusively. Okay, this dude's fine. He can't move right now. That's fine. This guy actually blew through quite a lot of his mana. Oh, we can't do that. Wow. And, and still, there's like one extra dude over here. Where are these guys coming from? Oh, we still have quite a lot of stuff we can do. Except, no, we don't because I messed up and didn't do anything before I went and killed the frog. Okay, well, at least we don't have to worry about that guy's armor. That guy's almost dead, which is nice. Yeah, I figured we were going to take a bit of damage over there. Let's just like poison him so that we get the opportunism. Cool. He's dead. We can actually probably get some stuff done over here as well. Nope. Never mind. Okay. This guy's going to get to do what whatever they want, actually. Oh, never mind. We've got ballistas. Oh god. That was only 13 minutes. It felt a lot longer, honestly. So Florian did not level up. It's okay. Their 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 level ups are kind of staggered right now. Oh yeah, we we did not get an S rank. Oh my g really? Really? My dude. Do you need some loot? I need a will. A will to live. <laughs> Um, tell you what I need is I need an inn and I need to buy an extra hero. Is this worth doing right now? I think so. Cause if I do that, um, I'm thinking oh, we need to repair that. Uh, so we have three gold mines. Do we need to dedicate workers towards mana wells and stuff like that? Yeah, I think so. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that's fine. I think that this guy can survive without um, like a major health buff. I think he can, yeah, he can just get like a regular one. That's good. Uh, but the important thing is we have five workers left after all that. So we may as well 
first of all, throw them at the the mines right now. And now we have enough money. I can I think I can justify upgrading each of these. Or at least two of them. Let's upgrade two of them cuz there's not no point in upgrading the third one so that we get two more workers amounts of gold. Right? And then we're going to buy a another hero, a good one. I guess the best we can afford is Monica here. Monica has gets less experience. She's ranged. She does have a crossbow. She does extra cr poison damage. I don't think she, I, I like her, to be honest. I think that, that she kind of sucks. Oh, oh, Joanna is better. Okay, hold on. Reliability. She's got a what? She's got a wand. I have not uh, really had time to figure out the wand. But we could try and figure that out. It's a good it's a good moment to, to figure something like that out. So let's go ahead and buy her. Um, we're gonna definitely plunk her down over here. We have money left. Uh, I what I'd like to do is buy some equipment and then buy a seer. I guess we should do these in the opposite direction. I should buy a seer first. But there's not really much point in buying a seer because I can't even afford Oh, I didn't save any workers, so I can't, like, push the mist back. I can't do anything like that. So why don't we just look at some equipment first? Didn't mean to do that. Um, no, that's the inn. Where is the workshop? There it is. Uh, we have a pretty good crossbow. We have a pretty good mage cape. Less propagation bounces, more poison damage. I would love that, except the, the propagation damage, our bounces are really necessary. I would give this to the druid, but... Um, this crossbow is kind of tempting. Let's take this. Ooh, a noble clothes, plus two extra action points. Extra hammer of faith. Uh, health, health received. If it, only that was like health, um, like gotten at end of night or daily health, whatever, that would be pretty good. Momentum, health, reliability, less dodge, more experience. This wouldn't be bad for the sword user, or we could just give him a better sword. I don't really want to do that because I really want to give them a hammer. I don't want them to use a sword. I want them to use a hammer. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth buying this Hammer of Faith scroll and then giving it to the sword person because at the very least then they have something that can stun and that's really all I want. They have an offhand. Oh, this is just a regular sword. Huh. Okay. Um, you are going to get your crossbow. So uh, that's pretty good. We do have a better ha hat. Not sure who that should go to. Probably. We'll give it to the scepter person, I guess. Uh, and we have some levels, level ups to do. Let's check out our prowess here. Um, probably is something I should have done in the first place. Aren't you, uh, aren't you just a voice inside my head? At the beginning, yes, I was not but a whisper in the void of thy mind. Yet now, thanks to thy faith and devotion, I've become much more, a voice to be heard by many. Oh, heroes have better traits overall. Uh, why am I so dumb and forget these things? It's fine. I'd love to say lesson learned, but I'm going to make that mistake again. So, it, it, you know, just just bear with me forever. Uh, let's level up. Druid, having extra mana. Ooh, extra action points, though. Druid having extra mana, though, is just, like, very good. Because they use, they use that mana a lot. Having extra armor wouldn't be a terrible idea either. It's on daily health regen, so health, healing received is actually not very helpful. 
Damage. Poison damage. It's not a rare perk, but it's a good perk. I like the idea of having extra stun chance because then whenever we apply a poison, uh, we have a better chance of stunning them. Whenever unit takes poison damage within a range of five, improve our health somewhat. More critical chance is tempting. Lone wolf. Extra armor. Let's just take that stun chance. I don't know if they synergize. You know, um, this is where like someone, someone who looks in the game code and, and has a better and more transparent like understanding of information would probably do better than I would. Um, the crossbow person having extra mana is actually not very worth it. Um, extra critical is not a terrible idea though. Daily health regen. They could probably use that. Nope, never mind. They don't have that perk. Stun chance isn't good. None of this is good. Isolation is good, though. Uh, and yeah, we're going to do one by one. I think it's worthwhile now. Um, what did we take last time? I guess I took Lone Wolf. And now we have Joanna. Joanna has four uh, levels. She's a scepter user. I have no idea how that works, but um, you know, I, I'm sure extra health won't do wrong for her. Extra resistance. We could just make her very tanky, just to be able to give, afford us a bit more, I guess, opportunity to experiment with her. You know, you can take more chances with someone that has the ability to, to take more damage. We have propagation damage. Does she have any propagation moves? Yes, she does. Hammer of Faith, which does some pretty decent damage. So having propagation damage isn't the worst. Magic damage uh, would be pretty good. Skill range would probably have been good. Stun chance is actually not terrible for her because um, Hammer of Faith is a stun, uh, stun dealing uh, ability. Take some more stun chance. Our stun chance is plus 24 now. Um, I think I predict that she won't have mana problems, actually. She seems to be a close range unit. The scepter seems to be actually some physical damage. No, wait, that's punch. No, it's just all magic damage. Um, there is some range. She's she's kind of like the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer, she 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 gets the ability to she she has to roam around and be up in the up in the fray. Kind of tempted to give her um, the poison line just because that means she'll be when she'll be doing poison damage while she's up there doing some stuff. Every two attacks when a hero dodged, eh. Uh, extra mana, eh. Quick reload, maybe. I don't know. I'm actually gonna hold off on her perk. I'm not sure what she's gonna be yet. She could, she could be whatever she wants to be. She could even be the president. She could be the president of the moon. You know, she could be an astronaut president. The first ever, uh, first ever, uh, woman, uh, president of the moon. Poison damage. What, what is it with the game offering me more poison damage, less propagation bounces? Like the worst combo ever. Like it is just like a hundred percent is unjustifiable. Does this do more damage? It does. Uh, I think this is worth it. The, I don't think the extra two mana, daily mana regen is actually worthwhile. This is uh, something I don't really appreciate about, about um, the way this game displays rarity. And this is like a problem I've had with other games as well. Like, you know, Diablo, yes, actually. Um, and also like Borderlands. Something that uh, these games will do is they show you rarity as if it means anything because at the end of the day the weapon you're going to be uh, offered um, You know five levels from now is gonna be more worthwhile than whatever like uber rare uh, super duper weapon you were offered like 20 minutes ago, so it's just kind of a, a Big waste of time in a way it, it definitely hits the dopamine button but like outside of that what is it worth 
it's not worth much um okay and now we do defenses so let's go ahead and do some defenses really not a huge fan of how close the mist is we could do traps as well but i honestly think building some walls is gonna be a probably a smarter move Right, oh, we could build one trap. No, no, that's actually like totally pointless. All right, um, let's go ahead and hit the button. Wait, production points, four perks remaining. Oh, right. I didn't take any perks for uh, Joanna. She had four level ups and I didn't take any perks for her. That's a bit, uh, yeah, that's definitely a problem. Well, I don't know. We could give her the left line. Every 10 max health over 100. She gets more physical damage. See, that's not worthwhile for her. When attacking a unit with full health, the attack gets more critical. Sure. And I guess we will give her the poison line. I don't really think it's going to help. I wish she could re-roll heroes. Maybe, maybe that's something you can buy later, like a... a, a, a Hero re-roller. Can we build any other, like, buildings? Oh, we could. Oh, a scavenger's camp. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. That's a good use of money right there, I think. It's a shame we weren't able to... I, I didn't see this thing until it was too late, but... All right, well, this uh, this is either gonna be the end or it'll be fine, or we'll just do awful. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the entire wall. It's the entire mist. That's a new unit, I think. Guardian. Oh no, I think I've seen, I have seen those before. Okay, so we're gonna, well, I was gonna say we're gonna work our swordsman over there, but um, yeah, it turns out that that's kind of a problem because there's all of this stuff in the way. Uh, Druid's gonna have a field day with this line. Ooh, yeah, that was nice. Let's also move them a little bit to the left. Um, let's see what the scepter person is capable of. Very long animation for a maybe not terribly exciting attack. That's pretty good. Didn't stun as many as I'd like. It's also kind of a mana hog. I cannot reach that guy. I can just barely not reach him. This guy over here is stunned, though. That's kind of nice. Ugh, I can't move this guy, and there's so much crap in the way. I would like to do some contagion to, like, anyone that matters, but it's not happening. Okay, Keon, you can do some stuff. Or can you? <laughs> You can kill that guy at the very least. I can't tell you how much I hate these lampposts. They're probably one of my least favorite things. Um, all right, well, we're building up our damage. I can't kill that guy because he's technically next to something, which is a, a fun feature that makes no sense to me. I mean, I know I understand where it's coming from, but I just uh, I don't care for it. Um, sprint. I gave her sprint. I guess I could sprint her over. Oh, we could do that again. But let's just, like, keep her there for now. She has the Reign of Arrows spell. That's interesting. Now the fun begins. Is this what you call fun?
Is that a new unit? Hunter. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a hunter before. We can include him with a pretty good rain of arrows. Uh, and then do some nice damage to all these lads. Oh, no, never mind. Oh my god, I, I think I hate the scepter. What is this? Is It's based on momentum. So I, I have to like really make it worth it. Okay, well, we killed the hunter. Not bad. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Let's do a hammer of faith here. I think this is going to be good. We did not hit the hunter. They're the only person... Well, they have stun resist 15%. But, you know, all the same. It would have been nice if we had hit the hunter. So we're going to have to run over here and try and do something. Miss. We should be able to kill them. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Uh, I don't. I can't really do anything over here. I kind of hate the sword. Sword kind of sucks a lot because it only has one move that I can use uncircumstantially. You know what I mean? Like, only one of my moves is a non-circumstantial or non-contextual attack, and if I. You know, I'm just in this exact situation. I can't attack despite having action points available. All right, Keon. Keon, you know, um, I, I at least for you, I, I, I like what's going on. I can do stuff without feeling like completely hampered. Um, we could sacrifice a little bit of our attack to kill this dude. Yep. And then we can kill this dude. No, we can't because there's a lamppost in the way. I love it. Love that lamppost. Why don't we just go ahead and um, put the final nail on this guy's coffin. And then we're going to go ahead and do some nice, really, really decent um, poison. Go left, please. Nice. That was perfect. And... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and entangle that left side and I'm gonna entangle the right side actually I think that's gonna be good and it chokes that whole thing off a little bit uh, Just looking at people who are about to die we should spread some contagion as well All right Could be better could be worse Ouch. They remove block, huh? And, 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 uh, yeah. The scepter person is almost dead. So these, uh, these guardians really buff people up a lot, huh? Oh, man. Uh, this is, this sucks. I'm not a huge fan of these guardians. They are kind of the worst. Let's uh let me try and kill just like this one dude. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Two shots didn't make it. Now we're going to waste some damage. Um we're not in a good position to kill basically anything, so I might have to just give up on building up our uh, isolation damage and, and just hit stuff. I mean, it's not it, it's not bad. We, we, we are still going to do a lot of damage. And then we'll build it up a bit, a little bit. Wait, oh, that guy was next to something, so never mind. I'm a little bit worried for our scepter person. Okay, I wonder if I could prop propagate back to them. Wouldn't that be just a son of a bitch? Like, imagine we stun the guy. We stun something or a whole bunch of people and then it propagates back to them and stuns them. Like, that would just be... 
kind of hilarious, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of damage to that fence. And when I say a little bit, I'm probably destroying it. Yeah, that's fine. Miss! Miss! Cool! Cool! Love that. Um, I love Miss Mechanics. They're my favorite. All right, let's... Uh, actually, that was a bad move. Let's go over here. Kill this guy. Two, three. Three. Okay, three action points for one dude. Okay, nice. We'll use another potion so that we can... Um, kill or not kill uh never mind i actually don't have any attacks left so we'll just punch that dude all right all right uh this is awful everything is kind of the worst right now the blisters are helping uh, are they helping as much as they could or oh they charged i don't know what that what that means i don't know what that means Uh, I need Druid over there. I really need Druid over there, but Druid is necessary over here as well, actually. Um, okay, we can hit that guy there. Nice. I need to I need to kill these hunters I think before I find out what charge does I I cannot tell you I cannot tell you how much I hate these lampposts let's just start killing stuff as I say we're gonna do this whole line here he says in the bathroom stall all right nice uh kind of want to just like no never mind there's no way i can make it over there all right we're just gonna we're just gonna hit these guys here and um i'm gonna entangle them i want to get her uh sorry not albrecht albrecht i want to get him over here Actually, um, Joanna is going to be able to do some work here, which is nice. Nice. That's with the stun on the hunter was really good. That was very lucky. But wow, that didn't do. Why did it? Why did it do that? Cool. Extra, extra kill. Um, don't, don't do that. Now we need to move this guy. My god. It's just like not not really what you want to see. All right, let's hammer faith. That were that was really good actually. That was a great hammer of faith right there. Um we just have one more move for Albrecht. Can Albrecht do anything good? Can kill this guy maybe? You could do another entangle. Let's do another entangle to these guys. They're the only ones who are not like poisoned or stunned or anything like that. Nice. Ouch. So I guess these hunters are ranged users. Um, range two to three targets one unlimited. Take aim. This is a charge. Um, Applies charge to the caster, allowing them to use special behaviors or attacks. Aim shot. It has vision, so they can shoot, like, past lampposts and stuff. A very useful skill, I've come to realize. All right. Uh, I really need to help the crossbow person get out of there. Probably should have used that on this guy. 
That's fine. He'll probably <clears throat> he'll be dead by uh from from uh what you might call it. He's gonna he's gonna die to the the ballistas. Um, all right, we'll make our way over here. Cool. I I I, I think I hate this level. I I think I don't like this level a lot. There's just like so much in the way. I know that's the point. Don't 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 mind me. Uh, you know that not me understanding the whole point of the stage and the challenges behind it. But like also I'm allowed to hate an obstacle despite the fact that the point of an obstacle is to be in your way. And I'm also not a huge fan of the scepter. All right, cool. That's that's me out of complaints for maybe a few episodes. I've spent them all. All right, let's just like see if we can't kill all of these lads. That would be good. No, you couldn't kill that dude. He had such little health. I guess he had a buff. So yeah, that's that's what those buffs do. The buffs are really good, aren't they? Um, we can still do stuff. May as well. May as well kill someone if you can. All right, now we're good. Ouch. Wow, okay. Just before we're done, we're going to take a, a couple of extra attacks on the chin. This rock, this rock is a real MVP. Nice. All right. We made it. We're getting the hang of this. I'm predict. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to predict a B. Um... Not sure why. I, I never understand how this works. I guess HP lost affects your rating. An A rank. I'm actually surprised. Kind of in both directions. Both that it wasn't an S and also that it wasn't a, a B. But um, that's fine. I'll take an A. Nothing is better than homemade stuff. Okay, um, let's level up first. So damage isn't bad. We'll take uh, maybe extra mana. Do they have any perks for mana? Every 10% of missing mana equals more critical. Whenever a critical hit is landed, restore mana. Uh, I think more mana wouldn't be a bad idea. Daily health regen. Do they have that thing? Yeah, they do. They also have poison though, so poison it is. This is the druid. If you're not taking poison on the druid, then what are you doing? Um. Whenever a negative alteration is applied by the hero, well, there we go. Opportunism is just going to be excellent for them. They're they're applying that all of the time. Florian, Florian, I'm not happy with your performance. Uh, we're going to have to put you under review. We're going to have to evaluate you, I'm afraid. Not a huge fan of what I saw in this last night. I think that uh, we could see some improvement for sure. Mostly it's my fault, though. I have not supplied you with a hammer, and that's really what you need. Um, we could give them sadists. Wouldn't be terrible. They don't actually use a lot of mana so giving them magic fuel would be good because then they're doing more damage from their normal attacks all right let's get some knight awards what is this less tw more ap less experience gain as much as i think that experience is a trap i don't want to choke you know like off the experience more multi-hits no no, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not a huge fan of any of these. Let's re-roll them. Uh, more move points and stun chance. That's not bad. That's better. More resistance, block, and health. There we go. I almost always forget to buy a hat. Um, so who's got the stun chance? I think it's the scepter person. 
so let's what, what am I giving them actually I mean I'll give them this that's fine everyone actually does have a hat for once so we're getting hit from two sides this time um let's like check our boxes everyone's okay for how oh well, no actually there's a couple people that could use a top up so um i'm gonna how much are they missing this guy's missing 60 ish so i th think it would behoove us to improve this heal unfortunately and then we'll use this offering for that last spot of health so that's pretty good that's okay um definitely we're going to want to restore mana and we'll throw some extra mana at our druid they're doing okay for mana i'm pretty okay with that i'm, I'm, I'm happy with what i'm seeing um now whichever house can be upgraded with 40 i'm going to do but i think i've done pretty much all of no there's another one can we build any more houses no, we can only have four houses. So, uh, that's... I don't know if that's good for us. Hold on. Uh, 7140, 210, 280. It would cost us 280 to uh, fully upgrade all the houses. But that being said, if we do that, then we're done. Um, so, let's just couple check a couple of boxes. First of all, we do have a couple of these large things here. Um, salvaging two items wouldn't be a terrible idea. So, let's do one of those. And then let's do materials uh, and gold, the other one. Then we're going to throw a couple of workers at these two gold mines. This one needs upgrading, unfortunately. And now we're out of workers, but that's fine. We're going to upgrade... We'll upgrade two houses right away. We'll do another gold mine. And then we're just going to keep upgrading these houses. So now we have two workers left after all that. We've done all of the gold mines. We could throw some money at um, production. I actually feel like buying an extra um, hero wouldn't be a terrible idea. But also getting more materials. Like, we could do it. It wouldn't be a, an awful idea. And actually, we would have enough money that we could then throw, start buying, uh, building some stuff. Um, like uh, barracks, stuff like that. So why don't we upgrade this twice, and then we'll get two workers. Did I not? Okay, I have to upgrade it three times in order to get both the materials from that okay a bit of a bummer that's fine um and now what can we build we should build oh i didn't save any workers for the seer uh i have to stop forgetting to build the seer and it's also too much money like i don't have enough money for it as well so we're really gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna have to do that right away in the next round or else i'm gonna forget but it's okay we've got all the workers we need like we've got all the workers that we can afford to buy and we've got all of our gold mines and we're starting on our salvage camp so as far as growth is concerned we're actually good now um now we focus on building up our defenses building up our heroes and um you know making sure they're well equipped uh, so speaking of which, I think an extra armor maker wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, and a blacksmith wouldn't be a terrible idea either. So let's do that. Um... And we have some more stuff to get. More health regen. More health. Less accuracy, more reliability, more daily mana regen, more magic damage. Not awful. This is just really good armor, though. With more critical. Um, yeah, let's take take the epic. I know, right? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a hypocrite, aren't I? 
I do like the spear and it is momentum and it offers multi hits, but I don't know if it's good enough. But I'm going to take it because I think that anything would be better than the sword, if I'm being honest. I just can't imagine anything being worse than the, sh than the sword. Um, actually, I just gave them um, a fairly worthless trinket for them. This should go to the scepter person. They're kind of like a melee magic person, so that's that's interesting, but uh, Yeah, uh, and now all that's left is to build some defenses. So uh, I'll throw some more Ballistas over here. I really don't know if ballistas are a good idea. I actually feel like traps would be better Yeah, males will kind of go for it. We've got good a uh, good set of ballistas over here. And yeah, why don't we build some traps? I feel like this is not a terrible idea. Let's go like um There's not really a lot of spots where we can get the full like value of the trap. That's not really up for you know that, that's a privilege we had in previous levels where uh, we had enough room where the trap could like get a full um, eight tiles around it. I am very much like making the mistake of seeing this arrow and expecting this to be where the, the monsters come in, but that could not be the case at all. Um, so good to spread some around over here as well, I think. There you go. Um, now we need to figure out where everyone's going to go. We have four heroes, so it's an easy and obvious split. Uh, I think that we'll put the spear and the crossbow person next to each other. Although, I don't know. They don't really have the best abilities for splitting people up. So maybe instead we'll do... Yeah, I think the, the scepter person is going to be better. And then we'll put spear and druid over here. And that'll be... We'll, we'll figure that out. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.